who's trying to kill David yeah. again. Yeah, if you guess Saul, of course, because Saul always is trying to kill David even though David's like, dude, I just want peace with you. So what do you do if someone wants to keep having the fight? So you gotta just be relentless in your love. You gotta keep showing love because that's what David did and that's what we should all do. We should just keep showing our love. So in 1 Samuel chapter 26, David is again hiding in the hill country and some of Saul's men find out that's where he is. And so they go to Saul and they say, Saul, listen, I know this is like a super rare thing, but we found David and you should probably go kill him. And Saul's like, you know what? That sounds like a marvelous idea. Let's go kill this boy. Well, he's probably, he's a man now, but let's go kill this guy. So they go and they hunt him down and they look all through the area and they don't find David. And you know, so they have to make tent for the night. So the entire army, they go, they sit down, they make tent, they make camp for the night, but they forget one of the most important rules of army. Does anyone know an important rule of army at night? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's just, it's just me here. Why, why are you raising your hand? Just, just tell us. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, so don't everyone fall asleep. Someone should stay up and watch guard and, and stand as guard because that's what you do in army. That is correct. You stand a guard. You have someone stand guard, but they all fall asleep. And David is able to sneak into the camp then. And all of David's men are like, dude, here he is. You should kill him. He keeps trying to kill you. I don't know why you don't kill him. But David is relentless in his love. He doesn't want to strike dead God's anointed. And he loves Saul. He's served in his courts. He's done all this stuff. So David's like, no, I'm not going to kill him. But he's like, you know what I am going to do? I'm going to take a spear that's right by his head and his water jug. And then they'll be mine. And I can show him like, look, I didn't kill you. David takes the high ground. I mean, he like literally takes the high ground and figures it he chooses to do the right thing. And then he shouts down and he says, hey, king, hey, Abner. Abner's one of Saul's men that is supposed to be protecting him. And he's like, you all fell asleep. Look what I have. I have the king's spear and I have the king's water jug and you guys are terrible at this thing. Hey, guess who could have killed you again? Yeah, it's me, David, because I'm awesome, and I could have killed you again, but I chose not to, because you know what, why, you know why, Saul? Because I love you, and I really wish you would stop trying to kill me, because all I'm trying to do is serve you and your army. You see, David does what we should all do. Number one, he goes to safety. When someone wants to fight you, get to safety first. Number two, keep reminding them that you actually love them, or that you at least don't want to fight them, and that you're going to keep doing that. You're not going to take the bait. You're not going to fight because that is what we should all do. We should all keep being loving even in the face of someone wanting to be mean and wanting to start a fight. That's just what David does and that's what all of us should do because that's the true heart of God. To love someone even when they don't love you back. So thanks for checking out Bible Made Elementary today. I am so glad you were here and you know what? I think that you are so fantastic. I think that you are just who you're supposed to be and I'm so glad for that. Hey, give me a high five on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three.